Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing really, really well. It has been a while, but I thought, you know what? Today's quite a good day, and I thought I'd take you through a typical day of what I'm getting up to at the moment. It's a little bit different from what you would have seen in previous videos, I guess. There's a lot more work these days, a little bit less time in the gym, but I still try and go at least one to two times a day. So I thought it might be interesting to you. Uh, a day in the life, follow me do my work, see what I eat for my meals, and then come to the gym with me and see what I do at the gym these days. So protein porridge is waiting. There we go, protein porridge in the bag. Got my coffee waiting for me, and this is how most of my mornings start at the moment. Um, it's coming out to eight o'clock. I've got my porridge ready, my breakfast. Got my coffee ready, I'm sat at my desk. And this morning, I've got a few Rowley clients to get set up. I've got a few training programs to write for them. Um, we've got a few people who'll make some alterations. This weekend, we've got the British Indoors, so we're making some final tweaks there to help them stay on track for new personal bests. And then with Train by Tarrant, I've got a few new clients that I need to follow up with the leads. Uh, I've got a few meal plans to put together and some weight plans to put together. So it'll be a busy morning, but it'll be a good morning. Uh, and then I'm hoping to roughly 11, 11.30 have what I would usually have a midday snack, which is then, and then go to the gym. And then today I'm hoping to train the legs. So going to crack on, going to eat my porridge, going to work with my clients, and then I'll catch up with you guys when I have my... Uh, used to be my second breakfast. Now it's my midday snack. Some people call it lunch, but for me, it will be a, a pre-workout fueling session. So it's now 12 o'clock. I managed to sort out the Row Elite clients, the Train by Tarrant clients. We've got the uh, rowing plans done, the weights plans done, the nutrition plans. Done, then I had a bit of spare time, so I hopped on board and I transferred over our six week training program onto ErgZone for the Crash B boot camp. Now, this is a new boot camp that I've been working on this year with my buddy Shelby, who lives out in Hollywood. She's going to help me run this six to eight week training course. Um, so, if you're targeting Crash Bs, I highly recommend you get on board with that. Um, I believe we will start selling tickets for places um, on the 5th. I believe that's Sunday, Sunday the 5th. So that's two weeks out from the, the eight week start date. Um, but then you can also buy six week tickets. So you can start either six weeks out or eight weeks out, depending on if you want some structure leading through the Christmas season, or if you just want to hit the new year running uh, and start on the 2nd of January. So the Crash Bee Bootcamp will go live this weekend, I assume, on Monday, um, where you can purchase your ticket and you can start training with myself and Shelby um, for the Crash Bees or a 2K, if you fancy doing a 2K. But anyway, um, I'm starving hungry and I want to go to the gym and do my leg session. So I'm about to prepare my snack. Um, I'll pull it up on the screen now, right here. And... Um, yeah, it's super tasty. It's one of the meal plans that I put together for myself uh, through Train by Tarrant Nutrition Plans. And it's super tasty, super nutritious, um, lots of proteins, lots of carbs, good bit of fat in there. And um, I've been having it for a few days now and I really do enjoy it. So give this one a go. I'm going to prepare it now. I'm going to eat it and then I'm going to get to the gym. There we go. That is uh, lunch, pre-workout snack. Uh, two slices of smoked salmon on two slices of wholemeal bread, uh, some cottage cheese, uh, some spinach, little squeeze of lemon juice, a little bit of pepper for seasoning, um, super nutritious, gonna eat that, get to the gym. So we're at the gym group in uh, Reading West, as you can hear of the generic gym music, hopefully you can hear me. Um, both squat racks are currently being used, so I'm just taking this time to do some stretching and some mobility. Uh, I don't think getting there. I just thought this would be a good opportunity to show you the session we're going to hit today. Put it here. So it's a lower body workout um, with the main focus on the squat. So I'll try and go as heavy as I can for the sets of three. I'm not sure where I'll be pitching in at. So I'll use the first one and two sets to figure out 
what shape I'm in, and then either push on or hold strong. Uh, but more importantly, it's about range of movement and good quality techniques for that like 90 degree bend in the knee or a little bit deeper. Uh, there's no point going so heavy that you're doing half or quarter depth squats. There's no point in that at all. Um, so, you know, have a little ego check, take the weight off, and focus on good form and uh, range of movement. Um, but that's the session. I'm going to see if it's got to three. And, um, yeah. Hopefully we can see a rainbow in the spot back. Good solid leg session. It's now, um, what time is it? It is now quarter to four. Uh, and I made it home just before the rain, even though it looks on here, it is beautiful. It's a weird tinge of orange, and it is starting to hammer it down outside. So I got home just before the rain, which is great. I'm about to tuck into um, another train by Tarrant Mill, which is it's nice. Uh, I may make some substitutions, but I'll put it here. Ding. Um, so effectively I didn't have the rye bread, so I just put in my two whole meal um, slices of bread. I know that they're about 98 calories a slice, so all in all it was 16 calories over um, on that front. I didn't have any sweet corn, so I put in half a red onion, chopped that up. I actually think that tastes a bit better. Um, and I think it asked for 255 grams of um, tuna, but I only had 215, so I don't know what cans they're using to work that out. You know, swings and roundabout, it all comes in there. I've got my avocado. Actually tastes pretty good. Again, tons of protein, plenty of carbohydrates, good healthy fats. Perfect if you're coming back from a heavy leg session and you want to replenish the muscles. Um, and feel that emptiness of the hunger. I am really hungry, but I know this will hold me over for a good couple of hours. So I'm going to eat that. I'm going to maybe watch some YouTube, some Disney Plus maybe. Um... And then I'm gonna crack on with some more work. Uh, I've got to do some data analysis for a rowing club. So that's my afternoon sorted. And there you have it. I thought I would at least show you what it looks like. It doesn't look very appetizing. In this light, it all looks very brown. But you've got the tuna and the avocado, red onions, wholemeal bread, no butter, no spreads. Good, clean fuel. meeting this evening at 10 p.m. with Shelby um, because of the time differences so I'm gonna clock off from all the usual stuff today but it's been very productive um, I'm actually gonna put up my dinner here it's a sort of a chicken salad with some apples in there um, and I'm effectively doing that so I can start using some of my vegetable plot which as you can see it's starting to get overgrown so I've got plenty of lettuce that I need to eat got some basil these will be peppers, and these will be peas. So, seeing a salad on your men on the menu uh, was a pretty good excuse to get stuck in to some of these greens, so then I can start planting some more.
out with the old, in with the new. But that's what my day to day is like at the moment. And I will wrap up here. I don't want to drag on, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, start of the day, taking off a load of row elite and trained by Tarrant uh, programming and meal plans. Went to the gym, smashed out a great leg session, came back, had some good food. Spent the afternoon doing some analysis on um, a rowing team, going for the development squad, making sure they're all still on track. Now I'm signing off for the evening, have some dinner before one final meeting at 10 o'clock. So it's been weird getting back in front of the camera, but I hope you did enjoy it. And if you have any suggestions on what you want to see in future videos, drop them in the comments. I might have a little bit more freedom now moving forwards. So um, I'm always intrigued to hear your suggestions. So, have a great rest of the week.